love is born with the pleasure of looking at each other. It is fed with the necessity of seeing each other. It is concluded with the impossibility of separation. Kelly and Scott, I'd like to welcome, begin by welcoming to Ireland, but more importantly, welcome to White Park Bay on our rugged north coast. And you've travelled all the way from Maine to celebrate your marriage in this beautiful place. And your timing's perfect because we've got a lovely evening. So what's this evening all about? Well, it's simply about love. It certainly isn't about the ceremony or the legalities of marriage. No, we're simply here to celebrate the love which you two share. Love, L-O-V-E. Just a small word, only four letters, but difficult to define. And it comes in many variations. But at its best, love is a passionate commitment that we constantly work to develop and nurture. Because love isn't just a word, it's an action. It isn't just something you say, it's something you do. And of course, love isn't perfect, it isn't a fairy tale. It means overcoming obstacles, facing up to challenges, fighting to be together, holding on, never letting go. And what's also important for you is that you love each other as friends. Marriage is a journey through life, and like any journey, it can be richly rewarded. But sometimes it can be extremely difficult. And getting through those tough times takes hard work, as well as love, commitment, and of course friendship. And the journey which brought you here today began some five years ago with me. You first met while working in a local restaurant, but at that time we were both seeing other people. So your relationship began as friendship. Although in Scott's words, I knew the moment that I saw her that I wanted to get to know her. We got to know each other, and when the circumstances were right, friendship quickly became love, beginning with that first date. As Scott says, I fell in love with her that night. And Kelly says, I knew from the first date that he was the man I would marry. He was the man I was born to love. You've been together ever since. And as Kelly says, every day is a new adventure. We laugh, we cry, and we face challenges head on. So we reach today, Tuesday the 21st of May 2019. And getting married today was simply the confirmation of the love, respect, commitment, and true friendship that you two have for each other. The marriage, as most of us understand it, is the voluntary and full commitment of a couple to each other. And this commitment is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others. And is entered into with the desire, hope, and firm intent that it will last for life. Now, Kelly and Scott, you've already demonstrated your commitment to your relationship. But before you exchange your vows, I want to hear you both confirm your total commitment to this marriage and to each other. And traditionally, we've been to the room. So, Scott, do you promise your complete commitment to Kelly while sharing your life with her as an equal partner? I do. And Kelly, do you promise your complete commitment to Scott while sharing your life with him as an equal partner. I do. Thank you. And now we'll come to the serious part, your vows. But first, I'll read a few sentences about vows, words written by Robert Fugelhoff. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another, and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. For you've learned much from one another in these last few years. Now you shall say a few words that take you across a threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this, this is my husband, and this, this is my wife. Now please face each other to exchange your vows, very personal vows, which you've each written yourselves. And once again, we've been with Scott. I could uh, never have imagined pulling into the driveway in Oakland five years ago that it would lead us to this moment here now. You came into my life at a very complicated time. And there's no doubt in my mind that I wouldn't have made it through it without you. 
I know the road that we've been on traveling together hasn't always been smooth. But no matter what life throws at us, we can get through it together. You make me a better person. And being around you makes me feel as though I'd never really enjoyed life before. You bring out the best in every day by with your laugh and your smile. You're the first thing I think of every morning when I wake up and the last before I fall asleep at night. I'm so proud to be able to call you my wife and the stepmother of my children. I love you and I promise I always will. From me to the moon. <laughs> Scott, standing here by your side today in the most breathtaking place that we've ever been has been a dream since the day I met you. I want you to know that every compromise and every tough road we've been down has been worth it to call you my husband today. I choose you today as my best friend, my soulmate, and my home. I promise to always challenge you, to support you, to appreciate you. I promise to ask you before I bring home any more pets or animals. I promise not to hit you too hard when you're snoring loud at night. Most importantly, I promise to continue loving you so deeply that the word doesn't even begin to describe it. I was put on this earth to love you, and today I am complete. I love you. I have an exchange of vows, we come to the exchange of rings, which is the traditional way of sealing the vows, which are just repeated for one another. Scott, please place the ring on Kelly's finger and repeat after me. Kelly, I give you this ring. Kelly, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my commitment to you. And my commitment to you. And to our marriage. And to our marriage. I promise to care for you to care for you with love and respect with love and respect throughout our life together throughout our life together I tell you to put the ring in Scott's finger and repeat after me Scott I give you this ring Scott I give you this ring as a symbol of my love as a symbol of my love and my commitment and my commitment to you and to our marriage to you and our to our marriage I promise to care for you I promise to care for you with love and respect with love and respect throughout our life together throughout our life together Kelly and Scott may the wearing of these rings always remind you of the love and support you have pledged to one another today my Scott I think it's traditional for you to kiss your bride to seal your marriage vows. Hey, Kelly and Scott, you've chosen to end the celebration of your marriage with the traditional and very ancient hand fasting ritual. Hand fasting is the symbolic binding of the hands, which inspired the terms, the bonds of holy matrimony and tying the knot. The hands of the bride and groom are bound together as a sign of their commitment to one another. And this represents the two individuals joining together in partnership, with two hearts and minds joined in love. The hand fasting, usually done with an odd number of coloured ribbons, and you've chosen to use four. Brown, red, blue and orange. Red, which represents passion, strength and fertility. Brown, which represents the earth, home and talent. Blue, which represents tranquility, patience, devotion and sincerity. And lastly, orange, which represents encouragement, attraction and kindness. With these ribbons, I buy into to the vows, which you've already made. These ribbons represent your union. They are strong enough to hold you together during times of struggle, yet flexible enough to allow for individuality and personal growth. Your marriage is neither beginning nor end, but a natural progression of your union, which finds you, find you bound, but not restricted. All that is separate yields and flows softly towards the shared path of your future, because the bond is not formed by the ribbons, but by your vows. And you hold in your hands and hearts the making or breaking of this union. And may you both be blessed with patience and dedication forgiveness and respect, love and understanding. And as we've celebrated this marriage in Ireland, let's finish with a traditional Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. It's at my back at the moment. Yes. <laughs> May the sunshine be warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. 
and until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand.